back. It's me again. I have a new arts and craft. Uh, it is a Sparkle Scratch art kit. I don't Jeez. know if they gave you more than one stencil hmm? though. Nope, they only gave me one of the sticks. That's fine. Tiffany's going to do a couple. I'm really only doing this as a more calming video. I can't imagine I'm going to mess this one up too bad. Watch, I'll find a way to mess it up somehow. Um, especially crafting with cats. I am sure Nuggie is just going to lose her ever-loving mind. So. Oh, it, she says she's good at scratching. She can help you. Yes, but uh, I would like to do my own arts and craft, please. The first challenge is figuring out how to get it out of the box. Why is it taped? Hello? That's it. I'm gonna just destroy the box, I don't care. This is why I should not be allowed to have anything nice. <laughs> I will just tear into the box if it fights me. And it fought me. So, can't have that now can we? Oh, they're so cute and tiny. Oh, I didn't actually go over the princesses. Too late now. I could do it from this. All right. We ain't having it tape. <laughs> I just hit Tiffany in the process. Rude. <laughs> Sorry. Look, you're just minding my own business over here. I know. She is going to do a couple of them. See what we got. Actually, that one probably should not go on the floor. I have a cat who loves plastic. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I was thinking. She was gonna be happy. So, ooh, okay. They are definitely stuck. Why? Why would you do this? Well, those ones are stuck. These ones aren't. So we have Ariel, we have Cinderella, we have Tiana, and the two that stuck, which Tiffany is very graciously freeing, is Rapunzel, and the other one is, I believe, Jasmine. Rapunzel's the only pink, I've noticed. Um, I am doing Tiana, Rapunzel, and Ariel. Tiffany will inevitably do the Cinderella and Jasmine one. I think they gave us some extra like stencils and cutouts if you really feel like doing that. I'm probably not going to, but I imagine Tiffany will. The back doesn't matter. And here is Jasmine. So I will surrender Jasmine and Cinderella <clears throat> and Tiffany with the other stencils and she will have the stick eventually whenever, you know, I give it back to her. So why am I doing this again? You might wonder. Because you can. I can. Nobody's here to stop me. Uh, there's no real instructions. You're just supposed to scratch off part of the dress. Which is going to make life slightly complicated for those who are completionists and realize that I am not probably going to stay fully within the lines. I know people don't like that either. I don't know if I'm going to do all three in this video. It really just depends on what kind of topic I can come up with. I don't know why I started with the one that has the biggest dress first. <laughs> do you want me to look for like a Chris, like a Disney question thingy? Sure. Minute? You can. Uh, I think my phone, my phone is probably off. I mean, I was just going to talk about, you know, Disney in general. Just like random Disney facts. I easily could. I am that kind of person. Lately, I've been <clears throat> recommended videos on Facebook and Instagram. I know who's using Facebook. I know people hate Facebook. Uh, and it is this lady pretending to be a Stacy. Stacy is basically Disney's Karen. It's been interesting. She's been popping up a lot. I like her. She's fun. But, you know, Karens in general... <coughs> 
be it a Disney Karen or <coughs> just Karens. Why are they like that? Because they can be. You keep talking about that while I finish my roofer real quick. That's fine. Talking about the parks. I can easily talk about the parks for days, like trips I wish I could take. I was in the process of trying to plan one last year. Well, once you hit the lottery that you don't play, we'll go. I know, I know. Uh, had I gone through with it last year, we would have stayed at the Contemporary in November. Right? Right. Uh, for those who don't keep up with the park info, November was not a very good month. Uh, they had, I think, two hurricanes in Florida in November last year. And one of them damaged the contemporary building right in the week that I was supposed to go, had I been able to. And also one of the ladies at church, uh, their sister-in-law passed away on that same week. So it wasn't meant to be. At least I'm pretty sure it was her sister-in-law, Brenda's. Uh, so that was not a very good time. <clears throat> that explains why it didn't pan out in my mind. I had planned earlier in the year another scenario that had fallen through rather quickly to go in like, oh, September, around the Renaissance Festival time. We would have went to the Ren Fair and then we would have been out because it would have just been a redo of our original trip. And then Tiffany's dad, he had issues, which meant that, that wouldn't have worked out either. So, you know, overall, wasn't meant to happen, I don't think, for last year. Ooh. Okay, I found a 101 Disney tag question. Oh, that'll be fun. The La La Land of Happiness is the tagline. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Oh, wait. Terribly sorry about that. Uh, my battery. Is anybody shocked? Not me. No, my battery is kind of trash, but I can't afford a new one yet. Eventually I will. Alright. Which Disney character is your favorite? Stitch. One Disney movie that you have watched at least ten times. Only one? Uh, I'll go with Lady and the Tramp since I said Stitch earlier. For the first one. Which Disney princess is your absolute favorite? Ariel. Have you ever worn a dress just like your Disney care, your favorite Disney character? No. Though I did wear a Snow White costume once. One Disney villain that you find pretty adorable. Oh. Uh, I, the, but the first one that popped in my head was Lotso. So I guess I'll go with Lotso. He's a cute bear. Which Disney character often appears in your dreams? I mean, I can't really say I dream of Disney characters, but I guess I'd go with Mickey Mouse. Which Disney prince would you like to meet in real life? Eric. If Disneyland comes at your doorstep, what would you do? How is Disneyland coming to my doorstep? I have no idea. I'd be very confused. Now, if somebody showed up saying, hey, yeah, would you like to go to Disneyland? Have a free trip. I'd be okay with that. Though it's going to be hard convincing Tiffany to get on a plane. Yes. Tranquilizer dart. During your childhood, which Disney movie did you watch for the first time? Emperor's New Groove was the first one I saw in theaters. Outside of that, I don't know. That was your first one in theaters, but you liked Mary Poppins. Was that the first one I saw at home? Possibly. Okay. Which a... Disney gadget did you buy first? Gadget? As in, like, what? I had already owned Beauty and the Beast. I don't I... know. Probably a Stitch toy. In real life, which Disney character would you like to date? Uh, Eric, I guess? <laughs> if a Disney character proposes to you for m marriage, what would you do? It depends on which character, I guess. Well, I guess Eric, since you keep going with them. Oh, it's because Eric and Aladdin are my two top princes. I... I mean, is Ariel still alive? Because if she is, it's going to cause some issues. Who is the most handsome character in Disney World? In Disney World? 
they don't really have many guys in the parks. Or face characters. Or face characters. A lot of the face characters are princesses. So I, I don't really know how to answer this question. If you were left alone in Disneyland, how would you spend the whole day? Trying to track out as many of the characters to take photos with because I don't do many rides. But I would gladly eat food and take pictures. Is there any tragic character in Disney? There's several tragic characters. Name one. Name one? Mm. Uh, oh, Ray? I don't know. I'm thinking about Ray because I'm taking care of Tiana's outfit. Uh, Disney watch or Disney hat? Uh, hat. I don't do watches. What message was printed on your Disney top? My Disney top? Ooh. Um, I have several Disney tops. So, um, I don't know. Stay weird was one. That was Stitch. So I'll go with that one. How many times have you watched the movie Tangled? Too many times. I've lost count. Who is cuter between Flynn Rider and Rapunzel? Ooh. I gotta go with Flynn. Another prince that I do like. He's my yeah. he's my next. He's in the top three. Okay. Which Disney pet is your favorite? Lady or Marie. I can't say really say Stitch because you know he's not necessarily a pet. Mickey or Minnie? Minnie. Why not? I'm still salty I didn't get to meet her. If Donald Duck says to you that I will do it, would you believe him? No. Also, what is he doing? I have no idea. That question confuses me. Do you think Merida was truly brave? Yes. Why? 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 Explain yourself. She faced off against her mother who was full bear mode at the time and survived. You do that every day. Full disclosure, that was Sarah's own mother that said that, not anybody else. <laughs> Tiana's nearly done, because I don't think I'm going to take care of the flower. I don't want to damage that. Okay. <clears throat> Tiana's done. Tiana or Pocahontas? Tiana. I gotta rub Tiana. So there's Tiana in her very sparkly dress. If you were Rapunzel, would you have trusted Flynn Rider? No. Why not? Why not? He's Ooh. stranger. Stranger danger. Granted, then that means I'd be stuck in the tower for my whole life, but you know, I don't really like leaving home anyway, so. Do you like Snow White? Yes. Thank you. Who is the best looking girl among all the Disney characters? If I had to guess the prettiest? I don't Not know. guess, but like, who's your, your opinion? I don't really know, because like, I'm, I'm partial to Merida. I do like gingers. Mm -hmm. So I guess Merida? <clears throat> do you believe in Disney's fairy tales? To a degree. Who is the most fortunate lady at Disney? At the... Uh, are we talking like the parks? Because I don't fully understand how I would answer this question. No idea. If we're talking the parks, I guess Sleeping Beauty or Cinderella since they have their castle there. It's their castles. We're just hanging out. If you were Cinderella, what could you have done on the night when she left her one show? show, not shoe, at the princess castle. What would I do different? Mm -hmm. You know, I would have told him my name. You spend countless hours with him and then you don't tell him your name. Which Disney track do you find pretty groovy? <laughs> I mean, I listen to the Encanto music quite a lot nowadays.
Who is your absolute favorite Disney character? Mm, Stitch. Oh, sorry. Favorite Disney singer, not character. Oh, favorite singer. I don't know. Does Adina count? She Aren't does work for Disney. Disney singer. I do love Adina. Who's the best dancer in Disney? Hmm. Canon, as in like live action, or are we talking just know. animated? I don't know. It doesn't really. Say. I don't. I don't know. Zendaya is pretty good at dancing, but you don't like Zendaya. That's not my questionnaire. True. For the record, it's not that I dislike her. She's just overrated. Who do you find toughest amongst all the Disney tunes? Okay, so we're just talking tunes? No, it's just Disney. They're just weirding it weird. Because, like, overall, the strongest princess would probably be either Merida or Milan. But if we're strictly talking, like, Mickey and the gang, probably Pete. As controversial as that might be. <clears throat> What's your favorite scene from the movie The Jungle Book? Bare necessities. Probably a cop-out answer, but I don't care. Rapunzel's nearly done. Disney 3D or 2D movies? <sighs> They've done so many of 3D now that's really, really good. But I like the classic hand-drawn as well, so I don't know. Ariel or Tiana? Ariel. Okay. Prince of Persia or Aladdin? Aladdin, because I've seen Aladdin more. How adorable do you think Anna is? I mean, she's cute, <laughs> but... Okay. These are such, like, they're weird and so... They're, they're worded so weird. If not Jasmine, who would you want Aladdin to be with? Oh, uh, I don't know. I like Jasmine. Not many of the other princesses are near there, so, like, that means I'd have to find a way to get them there. That's such a hassle. I don't know. Who is the, what is the most powerful feature of Ant-Man? <laughs> Hi, Scott, what you doing in this questionnaire? I have no idea. I mean, he's really smart. We'll go with his brain. I know, you know, people will probably say, well, he can shrink. It's the suit that's doing that, so. The brain, so it all. If a contest is held between the Ant Man and Captain America, <laughs> who would win? It's kind of hard because, you know, Scott has superpowers, but like Cap is also really strong. He could do it all day. I don't know. Scott. Which is more adorable, Goofy or Pluto? Pluto. How would you tame the Hulk with the help of intelligence or with emotions? Emotions. Has anybody found Natasha? Yeah, at the bottom of the cliff. Spoiler alert, if somehow you haven't seen any game yet. If you were asked to choose the cutest Dalmatian, who is it? Perdita. Because that's one of the only ones I actually know their names. Have you ever visited any of the parks? Yes. Disney World. We have went to all of them but the water parks. And the last one, since I imagine we're done with yours. I have Ariel left to do. Oh, okay. Well, then we will keep going. Rapunzel is now done, and I have Ariel left. She shouldn't take too long, though. It's mostly just her tail. Which Disney cuisine is your favorite? Um, I don't know. Are, is it just like food? I know. Or, I do like Pog. But that's a drink, so... I know. Oh? What would be yours, then? No, I know what yours would be. What is mine, then? 
The beef. I do like that beef. That beef is good beef. You had dreams about that beef. That's good beef. I did dream about that it. That says night. a lot there, my friend. I dreamt about that beef that night. Good beef. It was great beef. I also like their mac and cheese. Reminded you at home. It did. One brand that sells the most amazing Disney themed outfits. I don't know. I usually just get my stuff from the Disney store. Or like Which Walmart. Which villain woman can give you terrific nightmares? Wolfson. I don't think terrific and nightmare go in the same sentence. Sure it does. Maybe they just like being scared. Would you like a pet like Maximus or Goofy? Maximus. Since when is Goofy a pet? How responsible do you think Maximus is? He's pretty responsible, man. He tracked down a criminal. Which Disney adventure game is your favorite? I haven't really played any. If Frog Prince comes in your life for real, what do you do? Take him to therapy. Seems like he could use it. What upcoming Disney movie are you waiting for? I don't really know what else out this year, so I'm going to pass on that question. What Disney movie had the best message? I don't know. There's a lot. Pass it. If Disney never existed, how different would your life be? Well, I wouldn't be doing this video right now. I'll tell you that much. Uh, which Disney movie haven't you watched, but you want to watch? I don't... I pretty much watch all of the movies that I care to watch, so... I don't really have an answer for that either. What's your favorite spot in Disney World? Hmm. I mean, if we're breaking it into categories, restaurant, garden grill. But that's where the beef is at. Yes. Park, Magic Kingdom. And I really did like the hippy dippy pool at top. That's all I'm breaking it into, is apparently pool location, food, and park of my choice. At what age did you visit Disney for the first time? How old was I in 2017? I was in my 20s. I think so. 21. 21. Or 22. I have no idea. How old are you now? 27, 27. now. That was four years five. ago. Five years ago. Almost six. Almost six. Five years ago. I'm breaking Tiffany. I would have been like 22. Hey. We was old. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> uh, Last question for me. One Disney movie that has given you a lesson. Well, that was the one that I skipped, wasn't it? No, that's which one had the oh. best lesson. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Find a different question for the last one, because, like, I don't know. Okay. Oh, apparently I missed a tiny bit on her tail. So, yeah. Yes, dear. Look at me. Mm-hmm. Mm so, here are all of my Favorite Disney quote. It's kind of fun to do the impossible. Same. Either that or Ohana means family. So that is the end of my part. Now I get to hand it over to Tiffany. Hi. Here's your part. It's my turn to do this. I'm waiting for my lunch to be done, so I figured I'd do it now. So, proceed. Favorite character? Bell. Is she your favorite princess as well? Because favorite princess is the next question. Yes. Favorite heroine? Um. 
Mulan. Hmm. Favorite prince. Um, none of them. <laughs> Favorite hero? Baymax. Favorite animal? The bird and Encanto. <laughs> Favorite sidekick? Hey, hey. I saw that. Favorite villain? Um, I don't know why, but Scar is sticking out of my head. Favorite original character? Okay, I'm guessing that could be like live action. Cinderella. Hmm. Favorite love song? Can you feel the love tonight? Favorite song in general? Mm. We don't talk about Bruno. Favorite villain song? Sorry, she was on the sink. Mother knows best. Mm, good song. I would have probably said the same. Least favorite song. Least favorite song. Mm. I don't really know that I have a least favorite song. <clears throat> May I answer it then? Sure. Woozles! I hate the stupid woozles. It's my villain arc <laughs> beginning with the stupid woozles. Favorite kiss? Do you have a favorite kiss? Um. You have that woozle by woozles. No, not really. Stupid woozles! <laughs> First movie you saw, to the best of your memory, which I know it's going to be a bit tricky. Probably like Winnie the Pooh or something. Mm -hmm. Favorite classic? Um, the Little Mermaid. Hmm. Song that gets stuck in your head. We don't talk about Bruno. No. Favorite Pixar film? Coco. Hmm? Least favorite Pixar film? Any of the Toy Stories. Toy Story is overrated. That really is beating out all of the car movies and Monsters, Inc. I mean, I like the first Monsters, Inc., mm -hmm. and I've only ever seen, like, the first and maybe, like, part of the second Cars, and I can't say that they register enough for me to like or hate them. <laughs> He's so offended. <clears throat> Pip is trying to steal Tiffany's lunch. Mm-hmm. Favorite sequel? I like the Christmas special for Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. Overrated movie. Oh, sorry. Underrated <coughs> movie. <coughs> I think mm. a couple actually. Coco. Hmm? Could you put that in for maybe another like two minutes? Movie that makes you laugh. Um. I mean, they all kind of make me laugh. Okay, movie that makes you cry, then. Coco. I don't know what the next one is off the top of my head. I only do the two. So. Yeah, the movie that makes you laugh, the movie that makes you cry. <clears throat> Saddest scene from your favorite movie. Okay. And he just dies. 
It's not my favorite movie, but it's my favorite sad scene is Inside Out when Bing Bong dies. Not Bing Bong. Yep. Poor Bing Bong. Well, I got no clue who you're talking about. Well, I don't think you've really... That's your loss, in it? I don't think you've really watched... Oh no, that was worse placement. Uh, Inside Out. Okay. Status death. Okay. So you know what death really gets me? What? Is the second death of the one old guy, the dead guy in Coco. Mm -hmm. His like final death or whatever they call it. That one really, really gets me. Mm. Favorite couple. Yeah, all. Um Augustine and Julieta. Mm. Okay. Favorite quote? Uh, I'm trying to think of a different one than what I said, aren't you? I mean, I really love that quote. Then say it. Um, no, um... I know what my favorite quote is. I'm terrified to I ask I have to look it up. Is. Can I use that for a second? What is your favorite quote, Father? Come to chew bubble gum and kick butt, kick butt, and I'm all out of bubble gum. Hey, Rebecca. Sure. I don't know where that's from. Um. Thank you. Now I'm gonna have to Google it. Hold on. I know what quote I want. I just have to be able to find it. Okay. It, Laughter is timeless, imagination has no age, and dreams are forever. Glasses, from Walt Disney. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure that was on the photo frame that you gave Mar and Jerry, wasn't it? I think so. Uh, I have no idea what number you were on. I had to uh, sorry. Just reopen it. Favorite theme park? Well, I've only been to Disney World, so... No, a lot of those ones that you've been to, which one is your favorite? Um, that one's tricky because I imagine my favorite would be Epcot, but we kind of noped out of Epcot. Mm -hmm. And I really don't have a favorite out of the ones that we actually went to. They are all kind of on par with each other for different reasons, clearly. Favorite attraction? Favorite attraction that I actually went on? That would be preferable. Um... I guess the uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train mm -hmm. is kind of my gateway into roller coasters because I never did them before that. So, And the last one that they personally have on here is Favorite Park Show. You did see quite a lot of shows. I really like the Frozen Show, but like, <clears throat> let's be real, nobody likes the Frozen Show for the Frozen Show. We all like it for Eric. Because mm -hmm. he's great. So... Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on, since I have to come up with my own questions. Favorite live action movie? Hey, Poppins. Favorite live action yes. movie? Does that include remakes? That does include remakes. I really like the live action Beauty and the Beast. Mm. I like Emma Watson. I know she was controversial in that part, but I really like her in it. I think she did a good job with the role. potato is fully dead now. I want it dead. Okay. I didn't want it hard. He's dead dead. Hmm? Can I have a plate for my potato? Can you get what? A plate for my potato. Yes. Favorite song from a live action movie? Mm hmm. Um, I don't really know. Out of all of the Disney movies, you can't possibly think of a favorite song from a live action. Like, the only song that's sticking out in my head is How Does She Know? That is a fun one. But, 
I guarantee that's not my favorite. I just it's just the only one that's in my head right now. I mean, if you wanted to be cheeky, you could go up and talk alive at the Hollywood Bowl with live action. I don't think that counts. I mean, I wouldn't know, even though I'm the one that's coming up with the rules of this game. Are you partial to the live action remakes? Not necessarily partial, but I like them a lot more than I think most people do. No, Dad just straight up said no. I like seeing how they translate things. Favorite live action remake? Beauty and the Beast. Least favorite? Um, well, I haven't seen a lot of them. Well, a lot of the ones that you have seen. Cinderella. Really? It's just, the, it's just the one that's sticking out the least to me. I figured you would have went with, like, Dumbo. Um, I've only seen Dumbo once, and I don't really remember much about it. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel right, right ranking that in it, so. Mm -hmm. Yay! I think that's all I'm going to do on Jasmine, just because I am very much slower. And you will probably go back through them later. Mm -hmm. But you realize that I've run out of questions. And you would like to at least make it through the majority of your two before you go on to whatever else you're going to do, like food. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. No, I have to try and come up with a question. I suppose we could go back to the theme parks. Would you get Lightning Lane? No. Never? Nope. Why not? I think they're stupid. Hmm? I think the new charge per ride thing is st stupid. Well, they charge for certain rides. Most of them. The majority of them fall under the umbrella that you buy the one pass and then you're pretty much good. Unless it's the more popular ones that are going to have really long lines on their individual pay. Yes, which are normally the ones that you would get something like that for in the first place because mm -hmm. you don't want to wait in line. Apparently I've struck a nerve. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> would you like to As rant As if more? Disney doesn't get enough of our money. <laughs> oh shush. Sorry my father. Peanut gallery in the living room. Which character would you like to meet if you got to go back? The very first person you would want to meet, who would it be? Yeah. I don't know if you can actually <clears throat> meet her, though, at our park. Not at our park, but if I went to any park. <laughs> Disneyland would be your best bet, but again, you don't really want to get on a plane. No, but there's also nobody else I desperately want to meet at Disney World. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought you wanted to meet Moana. Yeah, and she was only there during the Halloween party. I'm mm. pretty sure she never became regular. I don't know. That's something I'd have to look into. You'd know better than I would. I would. I do watch a lot more content than you do. Even though I've been slacking lately. I watch none. Dream Hotel. To stay at. Floridian. Why? It's just pretty. I'd like to stay on the water. Also, like, who wouldn't want to st stay in the Floridian if you had, like, crazy buku monies? Just, like, one night, like... But, like, what if you know. had to sleep on a couch? Never stopped me before. <laughs> like, in the perfect world, we'd be going with at least one other lady. I don't think they have suites at the, gla the Grand Floridian. So somebody would end up on the couch. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> you would volunteer to sleep on the couch. I don't Every mind. Every night for like a week. I don't mind. Sometimes I find the couch more comfortable than a bed. I don't know if Cindy would let you. And let's be real, we'd be taking Cindy and possibly Rinda if she had decided if that was the case. Cindy and I would probably hers. alternate. Yeah, gotta love her though. She would not let you stay on it full time. And then there's me just zonked by the <laughs> door because that's usually the bed I end up in. So that would be your dream hotel. Mm. What would be the first place you ate at? 
if you had no money was no object reservations were no thing no thing that you had to worry about what would be the restaurant you would go to first and what would your order be i have no idea what my order would be okay but do you know what restaurant you'd like to go to i don't think it's gonna be as exciting as you're thinking mm -hmm. i would either go back to ohana or the garden grill both of which offer just the big buffet, like style dinners and like, you know, endless breakfast. But I really like their food. It was good. And the people at Garden Grill mm -hmm. were really nice, so. If you had the chance to ride the Skyliner, would you? No. The heights thing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I would ride, though, that we didn't ride? What? People Mover. I would really love to ride People Mover. We had the I want to ride People Mover during the fireworks. We had the opportunity to stay and get on the People Mover, and then you were sick, and my body was crapping out, so we didn't stay. I was so sad. You did try your best, though, to get me to still do it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, I probably shouldn't, and then I didn't. Are you done with her? Are you continuing? Done for the most part. I do want to add something though. Oh. Ooh. You're using the stencil. You're giving her her castle. Mm. Mm. Is it done? I hear you. Scraping as fast as you possibly can. Please. It's almost as if you think my battery is gonna die. I wouldn't be surprised. Yay, she's got her castle. And I guess that is where we will end it on your perfect day. Oof. Big mess. Any last words? Nah. <laughs>